Hello, hello, hello. This is the Gaming Godmother, boys and girls. I'm back now actually playing. And um, I have another, my second game confession since uh, very early in this uh, series. And that is, oh, let's see what we'll do here. We're in Hateno Village. And that's where I left you after the last gameplay in the, ex no, is that exploring? No, it's Loose Ends, the first Loose Ends. And I left you in Hateno Village, but I'm going to reveal something here because I actually did some non-recorded gameplay because I was frustrated with my inventory. And rather than bore you to death by... Uh, just going around trying to, um, and here we are in Hateno, uh, hey. bore you to death with, you know, just going me going around trying to get more gems, for example, you know, more uh, amber and rock salt and whatever I could dig out of the mountains and, um, and, and you know, battle with whatever bokoblins and dropped weapons during those melees. Uh, which I find now at this stage in the game pretty pretty routine and boring, and especially since I still haven't uh, mastered the flurry rush, which is frustrating me to no end. Um, I will show you something here that um, I want you to notice. I want you to notice this. Notice that I have 27 shock arrows. And before I had 17, and you say, oh, how did the gaming godmother get 10 more shock arrows since the last gameplay? Well, in my forays into um, the um, Nakluda region, I, I decided before leaving here that um, I would only go, I would restrict myself to only the regions that I had already explored more or less. And um, I would only go for stocking up my supplies, um, inventory, and that's it. I did not take on any um, uh, foes. Uh, and what I did is I went out through here. And this is really interesting because um, you, I, I never entered this place by the main entrance and so I had never encountered this guy so I started my journey staying in the Kuda but maybe um, going to places that I hadn't been to before strictly for inventory you know replenishment and if I had to battle I would but I would steer clear of any major um, uh, monsters or, or minor, what they call mini boss bosses of the area, so that I could um, essentially, you know, come back to these areas with you, and like I'm doing here, for instance. Um, I did not interact with this guy, by the way. I just kept on going out. And I don't want to give away too much because I want to revisit this fresh with you, but I do want to point out a couple of things. Uh, through the map rather than doing it by telling you I will sort of park myself over here and get a little bit of a view that looks nice and pleasant but at the same time uh, I, this is actually the first um, view from this angle since going to Hateno Tower that I've had anyway um, let me show you the map and what I did, basically, was I went around through this area and and then I actually poured it and, and I went around through here, kind of around in this in this business here. And then I ported myself over to um, back up to the top of the, if I can find it over here, uh, the Dueling Peaks. And I went into the, the, the Rihadi, I think it was, the shrine. And what I did is I kind of dropped myself using the parasail onto the, the cliff shelves that are in that pass. And there are a lot of uh, stones and rocks you can blow up and, 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 or smash to get gems. Um, 
my prime um, uh, concern. And then I kind of went over through here um, and mucked around in this region, which is right next to the, you know, the uh, Dueling Peak stable, but it's right behind. I kind of mucked around through here. I never really went through this area in particular. And then I kind of mm, ported myself over here. One of the things I did notice that there was one of those meteor things that kind of landed in the mountains right in this place and sort of stayed shining. And I tried to go there, but it, it fizzled out before I could get up to the mountain. So I just backtracked and went through here. And uh, then I went over, I believe, let's see, what is this? Okay, that's a Tenno Tower. And I went over a ridge. And I believe the ridge was right through here. Um, was it there? Yeah, it was right. It was a ridge that went right in through here. And I went right over the top of the ridge, and I think it was this mountain, this mountain peak right here, where if you're looking for a real nice stash of gems, at the very, 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 very top of this place, you can find that. Uh, and I kind of traveled through here, and then, let's see if I can get closer, there was a place off the road, right off of this road, on the way to Hateno, that there was this strange little, um, oh no, it would be back over here somewhere along the road. Maybe it was here. It was after Fort Hateno, so it had to have been in here. Right. So in here, I found myself in here at some point after I was kind of porting myself over through here, like this. And right in this area right here, yeah, in here, I found with doc, I found myself with doc, uh, I, 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 how shall I say this? Uh, I was on top here. I was on top of this ridge here, and I flew down into this place that had a bunch of statues in it down at the bottom. And Dr. Um, Kapil, Kapil, who we met on the road, you know, on the other side of the road over here, was walking around in here and he was, you know, trying to figure out his puzzle, you know, about shooting something in the eye, that there's a statue here, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so check that part out. I'm not going to give you any details because I really didn't try to solve the problem. I looked around and I noticed him. I followed him home to see what he would do, but he doesn't do anything when he goes home. So anyway, I came over here and then came up on this side. I went across over here. I went across underneath underneath these cliffs, did some battles with some bacoblins that were there, went down, emerged on this side, on the west side of the, the Fur River, and actually went off map because I came up over here and you'll notice the map goes blank and it was in this off map region that I discovered some mini bosses which I did not disturb because they were sleeping and I did not want to spoil the game for you guys because eventually I'm going to have to open a tower here to reveal this part of the map all I did was just you know muck around to see if I could pick up stuff but one of the pieces of stuff was a whole bunch of shock arrows and they were right in this area right in here and uh, you know more or less, and it, it, it. That's how I got my shock arrows back. Now I could have, you know, just as easily said, "Oh, well, let's run back and do the Varuta." Well, no, I want to do some minor stuff um, before I take off and do that. So again, I, I, I came back to, um, I came back to Hateno. Uh, where am I? Uh, that's the tower, then Hateno's right right in here somewhere, right? Yeah, Hateno's over here. So what I did is I came back here. After coming over the Ebon Mountain, or right through these this ridge, right through here, the ridge here, and then came up over the top, and then went back into Hateno, and this is where we... That's where I left myself. There. So, there. <laughs> that was basically it. So I try not to... Um, spoil it for you, but I'm very happy to have those shock arrows. 
What I want to do right now is I want to do some cleanup, mop-up operations because clearly I have left a few things hanging. That's why this is called uh, this playlist is called Loose Ends, and um, and so uh, here we are, and um, looking out over this, and I guess we can go ahead and start the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to port myself over. I'm going to port myself over to the Akala region, way over here, because I, I think maybe now that I've got my head straight, because I kept obsessing over torches and not using my weapons, my wooden weapons as a torch, to see if I can light up that blue flame and get to um, Robbie's, uh, the Akala ancient tech lab, which is, um, which is up here, in the, right there. And uh, where I want to go right now is, is to uh, run from here. Maybe I will run into, uh, what's his face? Uh, oh my god. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? Beetle. Uh, I'll go to Beetle to see if he has some more arrows because I really, really want more arrows. I bought some, but I need more. And I might, be, I, I might stop over in Kakariko to pick up some. But I'm going to go to Tumea, Tumlea Heights and see if I can't get down through here and light up all those lanterns and go finally to the uh, Akala Ancient Tech Lab and maybe get myself some ancient soldier gear and maybe that'll do me some good. Um, so let's, uh, let's go there and get my... Uh, let's go up there. Or maybe I can go to the Ancient Tech Lab. Can I do that? Or not? No, I have to go to the shrine. Okay, here we go. The shrine. Let's travel. <laughs> 